a whopping 40 billion rand in medico-legal claims. That's the amount the Eastern Cape Health Department could fork out if they lose lawsuits against them. The provincial government has now made plans to counter its legal challenges by opening vacancies to law practitioners and experts. Officials suspect that many of the claims against them are not legitimate and are being used to cripple the department financially. ENCA's Ronald Masenda reports. Zipo Zihleto Misana says she has a strong case against the Eastern Cape Health Department as she plans to take them to court. She believes the staff at the Cecilia Makiwana Hospital were negligent when she gave birth in 2014. The 30 year old says her life has become unbearable. Oh, this has affected me so badly. Uh, I feel like an old granny. Uh, I, I am really suffering so much. I feel like. For the past eight years, I've been surviving. I don't even know who I am anymore because it's not nice being in pain. Every day you are in pain. So it's really frustrating because I'm still young. I'm supposed to be enjoying my youth, and now I'm stuck at home. I even feel like committing suicide because the medication is not helping me anymore, and I don't even want to go back to hospital anymore. The Eastern Cape Health Department says while there are legitimate cases against them, there could also be instances where unscrupulous lawyers are colluding with unethical healthcare staff to get claims. There are indications that uh, people may have colluded with some legal practitioners to milk the state, hence the investigations. And now we are trying to close that gap make sure that we defend every case that uh, gets lodged against us. We were able to save about 77 million rands just on scrutinizing the cases that were being lodged against the department. And about 40, just over 40 cases were found to have been duplicated by various lawyers. The South African Human Rights Commission in the Eastern Cape says health authorities must ensure that they prioritize more on providing quality health care. We do recommend the departments make sure that they bolster the administrative processes um, internally, but we also call upon the department to make sure that they prioritize. Uh, for us, a key area that needs prioritization is mental health care. 2017, we issued a men mental health care report where we called upon the department to make sure that the staff is available to attend to this very silent need. The Eastern Cape Health Department says it will function more effectively if its budget is not affected by these legal challenges. Ronald Masinda, East London.